All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, I'm gonna do a special video uh, on the St. George Electric Festival that we're going to. Um, this is what it looks like when you've been uh, taking two days off of work to get ready for an event. It's all decals stuff down there. Say hi, Bubba. Hello. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't even want to go to bed. <laughs> He's super stoked. All right, so I gotta take T33 apart still. Vindicator. So these are all the planes I'm taking. T33, F100. That airplane you guys haven't really seen yet, but it's finished, the Venom. Blue Angel Hornet. I forget the brand of this Mustang, but we, we repainted it. And then Bentley's Texan. This is the trainer section over here, D28, and then the Stearman, so. We have to get all those to fit in this SUV. Should be good times. So we're charging batteries. I gotta finish taking stuff apart. I gotta clean up this mess so I don't come home to this after the event. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. We'll uh, check back in tomorrow. Actually, we'll check back in later after I get all this stuff packed. All right, so we are all packed up. Just finished up my last couple of things here. I had to... Uh, Get the FM2 off the wall. And uh, see, this has got the old uh, tail extension on this one. I forgot how cool this model was. This thing's been hanging out for, I think last time I took it, I flew it was at St. George two years ago. And uh, yeah, it's just been hanging up ever since and it's all dusty. And it's a neat little model. I forgot how cool it looked. And uh, I tried a new prop on the Stearman last time I had it out. I liked it a lot, so. I just wanted to dress it up a little bit. It's metal tape on there, so should have a cool little reflection while it's flying. Anyways, here's the car. So let's see. <laughs> There's a free wing Hornet, free wing shooting star, free wing Venom. Uh, what are jets in here? Oh, Flex Super Saber F100. We got the uh, venerable E Flight T28, E Flight AT6, some Horizon product P51. I forget the name of that brand. They haven't sold it for a while. Uh, let's see. And then the Vindicator. So the Stearman's going to go on top. The Wildcat will probably go on top of the luggage. This is the first time I haven't taken the T38 to this event. Uh, first start going to this event. This is the fifth year or so. I've taken it four years in a row, so it's kind of weird not packing it. <laughs> but uh, that's all right. We just flew it last month, so no big deal. This time I switch it up anyways. People are probably sick of seeing it. Um, so I got everything in here. got my batteries charged. Now I just got to clean up. It's 1030, which isn't too bad for a uh, pre-St. George night. And uh, yeah, we're going to throw a few UMXs on top of the pile there. And I gotta clean up this horrendous mess. Look at this. Ugh. Got my batteries charged. All the little stuff. Got the big stuff. So, anywho, we'll be uh, on the road at five in the morning. All right, just for proof. <laughs> Steerman over here, which I was worried about this one because it's a one piece model, is not coming apart. Uh, so, we got the UMX Timber, the uh, Carbon Cub. UMX MIG, UMX Vigilante, and then we got the uh, FM2, and that is it. We got batteries, we got our chargers, we got radios, we got luggage, room for our luggage. It's a miracle. <sighs> That's it. I'm going to go put some gas in this thing and uh, clean up the shop. I know I've said it five times, but now we're actually going to do it. All right. All right, so we're on the road. Got my trusty sidekick. My pick. His legs are tired. We're uh, coming into Vegas, and uh, it's about a six hour drive to get there. We're about halfway there, maybe a little bit more than halfway. And uh, got a car full of airplanes back here. So this event, uh, it's the 15th year that this group of friends has met up. Uh, I talked about it in a couple other videos, but we used to, we started off in Vegas in 2006 and uh, did nine years of this event in Vegas with John and Woody and all those guys, uh, John Cohn and Andy and 
Wade and a bunch of other guys that uh, get together every year. And uh, so, anyways, we did uh, nine years in Vegas, and then for reasons I won't get into, uh, we stopped going to that event. <laughs> and then uh, did one year in Chino Valley, Arizona. And then we've been coming to St. George ever since. So this is our fifth year coming to St. George. This is Bentley's third year coming to St. George. So, I don't know, there's something special about this drive. I always get excited on the drive out in the morning and looking forward to spending time with friends and doing lots of flying and having a good time. And uh, anyways, yeah, we're almost there. And we'll check back in once we show up to the field. Alright, so we're almost there, about 20 or 30 minutes away, and we're <clears throat> getting into what's called the Gorge. It's, uh, it's actually super pretty. It's a really neat canyon uh, down here in the uh, northern corner of Arizona, southern corner of Utah. So we're about 20 minutes from the field, and we just had some lunch, and we're almost there, getting excited. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you guys this uh, section of the gorge here. It's actually really cool, so figured I'd just put a little bit on video for those of you who might be watching from the East Coast or Midwest that might never get to come out here. It's pretty neat. Lots of uh, beautiful countryside out here on the West. Super tall too. These things are these mountains are massive. Really neat. There's a little river running down there. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we made it to the flying field. Almost there. Made it a pretty good time too, actually. Uh, just over five and a half hours. That was with a pee stop and a quick food stop. So there's the, the bluff you have to look out for. And the uh, flying field's just over the little hill. Somebody's up flying right now. It's actually one of the nicest flying fields I've ever been to. It's really cool field, big runway, nice and smooth. They got uh, shaded pits and electrical power. And the backdrop is really cool here. So this is the, the view you fly against, so it's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, they got some AstroTurf for landing pan launchers, and there's the field right there. Got some trees, which are getting nice and big. So yeah, we made it. Pretty stoked. My leg still hurt. His leg still hurt. <laughs> cool. Well, check in a little bit after we unload this car full of airplanes. I think there's 14 airplanes in here, something like that. Something like that. I don't know. There's, there's a lot. So. Yeah, it's too many to count. All right, we're here. All right, so we made it to the field. Al's here, Jim's here. There are people here. No, this all came out of my car. <laughs> I'm hot already. All this stuff. Time to start putting stuff together. Well, I've been out here at the field for three or four hours, getting some flying in. The wind's been coming and going, but uh, it hasn't been too bad. Pretty much flown everything. Uh, f 18s doing good. Landing gear working after the first flight. We had some issues and had to solve that. But now they're working. Same thing with the T-33. Got those gear working and doors closing and it's flying good. And here's the uh, new cockpit on the F-100. Some 3D printed parts that my dad made. These are actually the same parts I used in the T-33, just, just, down, just downsized, yeah. So. But it's flying good. And the Venom's flying awesome. Sounds wicked cool. Get that nine blade in there. And uh, yeah. See how long we stay, not sure. Pretty much everyone else has already left, so just hanging out. Alright, so our first day at the event is over. We're headed to get some dinner. Uh, it was awesome. Bentley did lots of flying. I did lots of flying. Uh, I got the Vindicator in the back of the car, keep it safe while the rest of the planes are, uh, stinks. Uh, the rest of the planes are under blankets at the field. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, I got the Hornet figured out. One of the gear kept getting stuck going up and, uh, 
it wasn't flying very good that way didn't like it so I tweaked the gear a little bit and it works now I I need to make some other adjustments but it's uh, it's such a tight fit to get the wheels up in the wheel wells but anyways I got it flying good got it all trimmed out seems to uh, be a little slipperier with that smooth paint on there it's pretty fast so got the t33 all figured out uh, it was actually sucking the doors the inner gear doors closed on takeoff and I couldn't retract the landing gear because I did like cheater holes inside of the wheel wells but uh, anyways put a few flights on that a few on the Hornet a few on the Venom which flies amazing and a few on the F100 got the uh, Wildcat redialed in it's been two or three years since I've flown that so anyways we're headed to dinner with my dad and uh, Ben who's behind us and yeah it was a good day weather was pretty good got a little breezy but it was pretty much dead calm till I don't know 1 1 30 then the, the breeze started picking up but it was still flyable anyways we're gonna get out there bright and early in the morning and uh, Andy and some other guys are gonna show up so gonna have a good time check back in tomorrow all right well it's day two my legs are cold his they don't hurt but they're cold now his legs are cold we just had breakfast at the hotel we're nice and full right Nice and full, so head of the field. Uh, hopefully, a few people there waiting for us. So, we'll check in a little bit. Brothers here, and I don't see anyone else here yet. There's a van over there. I wonder who that is. Guess we'll find out. That looks like Andy might be here. All right, so we're out here at the event. Do that again, Andy. I want to see that again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna video that. And uh, Andy's built this fun scale F-16. It's what, 88 inches long, Andy? Uh, 92, I believe. 92 inches long. It's a beast. It weighs 13 pounds. It's got a Jet Fan 120. Cool. I don't know, it's kind of rough. You should probably do it again. <laughs> I see you have some extra ground clearance on the uh, fins there. Yeah, So it's a, a box shape, super simple, super lightweight. And yeah, it's, I mean, in, in the air, it looks like an F 16. Jet Fan 120 on 12 cells. It's pretty cool. What the hell? 
itself is just gorgeous. <laughs> It's pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, day two of St. George is over. It was awesome. <laughs> Still everything is in one piece. It's a miracle. I don't even know how many times we flew today. Couldn't even tell you. Probably... I probably flew like 35 times. Probably 20-ish jet flights today. And I charged all my packs up. Again, at least one more time, at least. Maybe even more, I don't even know. I don't even keep track of that stuff. Bentley was flying all day. Saw some pretty good landings with that T-28. Pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, more people showed up today, had a great time. Weather was amazing. It was a little warm, but uh, wind was super manageable all day. And it's almost seven o'clock, just now leaving. and. It had a good time. Tomorrow some more people are showing up and uh, yeah we got a little bit of video today so we got to uh, fly Andy's profile slash fun scale giant F-16 which was super awesome. That thing is wicked cool. Definitely makes me want to build something similar. Just something quick and easy and that flies super light and super good so it's a thought. Maybe a big T-38 or F-18 that's super easy to build. Never know. Sky's the limit. Anywho, headed to dinner. chuck a -rama. You know how we do. All right, here, day three of the event. Got Bentley flying as a little P-51. Got Ace over here flying as Tucano. Somewhere. There he is. Bloody Brits. Yeah. I don't do anything famous. Having a good time. Beautiful weather. Right to left. Nice. Right in the center line. Good job, dude. Another sortie for the Bubba Stang. I've seen it. I actually own it. And I've seen we got Scotty here with his. I remember when I was a kid. Parkso Mosquito. Plastic models. It's just like John Morgan Electric Festival. It's bad. But uh, hey ben, come on down, man. What? Okay. If you're comfortable, the whole world's watching you right now, Scotty. Up. By the whole world, I mean 200 people, maybe. Really? <laughs> maybe 100, 150. Can I take off over here? Barrett? Yeah. Can I take off? Yeah. All right. Actually, I'll do a little, little half flat takeoff. That way. Yeah. Okay, but take it off. Before you made that steep climb, in my honest opinion, you were concerned. Oop. Come on, baby. You can do it. There you go. Nine! Nine! This we can't I don't do. Have feeling. Come on. We think what? you're trying to escape. We think you're trying to escape. On the field. Thank you. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Does he have aerodynamic rudder? What does that mean? It's a guardian <laughs> joke. Oh. About how I was having trouble taking off because I didn't have a guardian. You gotta, you gotta give her the beans. There you go. There go. <laughs> gotta get that air over the tail. Very nice. Low pass! Well, we're out here enjoying the day. Decent showing of people. It's like Bentley's getting ready for another. T28 sortie. Basic training. Ho! Hex speed number two. And a little mosquito flyby. It's a classic, you know? It's a good flying model. Makes me want to do an ME410. Mm. 
because it looks like a 410. Yeah. Do a touch and go from the right. Good news is the bait will fly about twice as good as this mosquito. What'd you say? The bait will fly what? Twice as good as that mosquito, probably. You think? It should. It's gonna be a sweetheart. I think the yeah, I think the weight's gonna be good. It's actually a little downwind coming from that way. You guys might want to switch it around. Switch ways. Nice. Yeah, that's the thing with that thing. You got to get the power up. You know what I mean? So it doesn't. It just wants to spin once you get the power going. Yeah. We're doing uh, left to right right now. The winds kind of changed, so yeah, we're doing left to right. Who doesn't love a twin, you know? Airplanes. There's a little right chain. Good old park zone with the repaint. Did we change the pattern? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, dear. Left to right? Yes. Yeah, there was a breeze a minute ago, now it's gone. <laughs> How's that? Well, third day is over of the St. George Electric Festival. Hard to believe that uh, only one day left. Time flies when you're having fun and sweating and flying model airplanes at the same time. Right, Bubba Dave? Yeah, it's definitely gets really hot. It was a warm one, but man, the winds were super nice today and tons of great flying and lots of really good uh, formation flying with Andy and other guys. And looking forward to seeing some of the pictures and videos of that. Uh, some more people showed up today and looking forward to, to tomorrow to flying the Vindicator for the first time. And uh, yeah, it was a great day. We finished up right at sunset and I don't know, lots and lots of flights. Right, Bentley? Very nice. Lots of touch and goes. Oh, anywho, going to grab some dinner with uh, my brother, my dad, and Scott, and Ben, I think. Should be tasty. Anyways, we'll uh, check back in tomorrow morning for the final day of the event. All right, well, we didn't really do a lot of updating yesterday or today. Sorry about that. But uh, that is a wrap. The event is over. Saturday afternoon. The winds really picked up and people started cleaning up early. So we were going to stay until tomorrow morning and head home. But uh, now we're going to just uh, grab dinner at the old chuck and head on out I guess skip on the uh, traffic tomorrow and uh, yeah so everything went great today uh, aside from the wind that picked up we got the vindicator and I'm in lots of flying again my legs are tired his legs are still tired believe it or not so the vindicator flew it flew amazing yes uh, we did have a couple of in-flight emergencies uh, the first one no fault to John, I believe it was just a poor Chinese assembled product, the old Turnigy brand motor. So one of the uh, motor connectors broke off in flight. Don't ask me how, but it did. And uh, so I lost power, happened to be in a halfway decent spot and was able to set the airplane down, not too harsh, was it bad? So we resoldered the connector thinking all is well. Second flight, I was up for, I don't know, five minutes, six minutes, just cruising around, getting pictures and video. And uh, I was flying beautiful, just super sweet. Looked so good in the air. And by the way, the pilots turned out unbelievable. Uh, just su such a cool project and so happy to be a part of it. But anyways, uh, yeah, so then all of a sudden on the second flight, 
I was just about getting ready to set and start landing it because I'm like, oh, I'll just come in early. There's no reason to keep flying, you know, flying around forever. And uh, I'm like, oh, I think the motor's not working again. And sure enough, the motor was freewheeling. And I'm like, oh, that's great. So that brought her in, put the gear down. And she had a pretty decent glide to her and set it down pretty good on the end of the runway. And the plane was fine. Uh, the motor smoked. I mean, it was literally smoking when I walked down to it and popped the hatch off. So it shouldn't have smoked. It, sh it was well within its limits. But uh, I don't know if it was a defect or something else happened or what but anyways fry the motor which was a shame but we got all of, you know we got our media and lots of pictures and it was a really special flight and a great event and to top it all off uh, we got uh, Scotty's Betty finished up after uh, being a five-year project I think we finally got it to fly uh, we did a few final things at the field today and set up the radio and put a flight on it and it flew beautifully and uh, Scott did an awesome job on that model too and uh, yeah super enjoyable experience I'll probably put some pictures from the event at the end of this video so don't just skip the next video uh, I'll have pictures of the Vindicator and the Betty and some of the other planes at the event at the end of the, this video so the Betty flew really nice um, it was, it didn't have quite enough elevator authority and uh, mixed with maybe a slight nose heavy condition, I'm not really sure, but anyways, it ran it up on the landing and it bounced and I applied some power and set it back down. A little bit of a plop and it just ripped the gear right out of it, so it might have just been a structural issue or something, but it really shouldn't have broken out, but it did. But it didn't really hurt the rest of the airplane, it broke a prop, but Aside from that, it's fixable, and all the rest of the planes are coming home in one piece. I don't think we even, well, I scratched up the Venom because I was doing low passes, and I scraped the belly a couple times. That's about the extent of the damage to all my airplanes, so we're bringing them all home in one piece, and uh, yeah, it was great to hang out with friends, and my dad, and my brother, and Bentley. And I'm sad. So, the event's over. It always goes by super fast. Four days of flying. Yep, time flies when you're having a good time with friends. So, anyways, uh, I don't know how many of you will actually watch this video, but maybe you found it enjoyable. I don't know. Like I said, I'll put some pictures at the end. And uh, yeah, it was great to see everybody and had a great time. The weather was awesome, and hopefully, we'll be back next year. Do it all over again. Until next time, we'll see you later. I'm kidding. Not done yet. I thought I'd show you guys uh, some more of this gorge as we pass through the canyon here. It's a beautiful country. Look at these huge, huge rocks. There's a little river that runs right next to it. It's that guy behind us. I think I might know him. There's a river.